Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Well, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar cab must have finally caught up with. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Why you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? <laughs> like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. To think, Mom wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses when now I'm getting paid to sleep out here. Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Safety group. Report status at 1100, please. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Has anyone actually even seen your degree, Freeman? Greetings. What are you doing still running around up here? We've been waiting all morning to begin the experiment. Gordon, please, go do what you've been hired to do. Shouldn't you be doing the same? Gordo, you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Time to make tracks, Gordon. It's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Bertal, Bertal, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Have you seen my coffee cup? Ah, uh, copy. Damn, Gordon. Good morning, there Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. <laughs> Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Ah, nothing like the morning of a big test. I can't remember the last time I've seen the lab abuzz with such excitement. Indeed. Quite invigorating. Ta-ta! How is the debugging procedure coming out? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Good morning, Gordon. We can talk later, Gordon. The 
this sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Does the retinal scanner work yep, for you? Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes. Hope you choke on it. Gonna get me one of them jumbo size Retta grape sodas. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Man, I'm working up a mean hunger just thinking about it. Well, you're thinking of something. I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. Can't let you through. Not with Big Brother watching. Look, buddy, I don't stand around and stare at you all day. Well, I do, but that's because it's my job. So, go do yours. living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Are you running those tunneling lattice calculations again? Please excuse me, Gordon. Hello, Dr. Cross. Not now, Gordon. Easy, Freeman. That's highly unstable. Hold it right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Just head on up to the personal facilities and grab your HEV suit. I'll be right here waiting for you. Uh, are we forgetting something? Sorry, buddy, but those are the rules. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. No exceptions. Not even for you. I dare you to go find something bigger. Jeez, what has gotten into you today, Gordon? <laughs> I got all day, buddy. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Mm, these double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. I trust this morning find you well. 
They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria again. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you'd best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um, that was you-know-who's lunch. You better make like traffic and jam. You better make like diarrhea and run. You better make like a missile and cruise. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like a nut and bolt. You better make like a prom dress and take off. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. You better make like a bread truck and haul buns. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. You better make like a missile and cruise. Can't cut that shit out, will ya? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis? Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? Ugh, rat. No toilet paper. Hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some Doctor? toilet paper. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. And the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. You better make like What's a prom dress for and take support? off. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, that isn't my problem. It's yours. Right. And if I have a question... It isn't my problem. Oh, contraire. It is still very much so your problem. Now, do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Do you? No. Well, that looks like a problem to me.
All displacement modulators were tuned today, weren't they? <sighs> it's getting increasingly difficult to keep the rank and file in check. Have to make sure they understand their role in the bigger picture, don't you know? Can't let them forget. It's an honor to share this rarefied subterranean air. I confess, I too thought I was cock of the walk when I first entered these hollowed halls. But in time, I was humbled by my experiences. I don't suppose you uh, want to trade jobs. Get down to the test chamber already, will you? You don't want to keep them waiting any longer than you already have, Dr. Freeman. Report to the test chamber immediately. Dr. Yellow reports. Residue processing plant is operating at correct level. They need you in the test chamber. Try hitting Control-Alt-Delete. Don't bet on it. I've about had it up to here. Are you trying to get my supervisor down here? Maybe he could fix the computer. For crying out loud, Gordon, knock it off. Tactical Operations Center. Oh, come on. Buddy, you don't want me to write you up. We're all set for this weekend. Dr. Gibbons is coming in to cover for you. Splendid! I haven't missed the New Mexico Comic Convention yet. Yes, soon we will drive our enemies before us. And hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> Fare thee well, traveler. You lost, Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. Yeah, th the suit looks great. A bit snug in the back, though, buddy. What's happening, Captain? You want the airlock at the end of the development hallway. We can talk on my lunch break. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Oh yeah, before I forget, me and the boys were thinking about some poker tonight. I'll keep you posted. See you soon. Knock him dead down there, Gordon. I've oft been told my left side was better. Uh, to side 
My goodness, I'm handsome. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R, &R, know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Greetings. Later, Gordon. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. I don't think my pacemaker can handle any more of this. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. What the hell does PC load letter mean? Are you Gordon, what I'm thinking? It's high time to start the experiment. Get to the test chamber at once. We've already had to cover for your tardiness. Don't waste any more of our time, Dr. Freeman. You don't want to be responsible for holding up the entire lab, do you? Everyone upstairs is waiting for the experiment's results. Gordon, please. You're scaring me. It took some doing, but the anti-mass spectrometer is finally ready for today. Sample GG3883 is a fine example of negative mass. I'm looking forward to the experiment's results. As you can see, we have everything in order up here. We'll begin the experiment as soon as you're inside the test chamber.
Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange. Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. You've come all this way. Suit or no suit, I sure hope you weren't planning on having kids. You know, it does cost money to keep that door open. Have at him, Doc. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be... Deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Access denied. Access denied. <laughs> You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. 
you're a seasoned pro by now. Yeah, right. 